So many young faces. Uh, usually, what we see, what I see in, in Puerto Rico, uh, is a lot of old heads, and that's cool. But we need, we need young blood. We need a, a fresh blood, fresh idea, and that's what y'all bring to this. Uh, so I'm very grateful for that. I'm very honored to be here. Tom Manny, uh, Marilyn Buck, Oscar Lopez Rivera, Young Lamin, they don't need to be free. They don't need for us to free them. They've been free from the minute they started to struggle, from the minute they started to care for their neighbors, to care for others, from the minute they started to fight apartheid, fight Puerto Rican colonialism, fight every type of injustice in the community, they've been free. What they yearn for, what they want, what they need, what they get uh, motivated and enriched from is our freedom out here. For us not to be killing each other, for us not to be uh, uh, involved in, in, in the destruction of a community, for us to be involved in the liberation of humanity. Not only our nation, but all those other nations that connect us, that makes us one. That struggle in Canada is as much our struggle here as it is theirs. That struggle in, in, in Venezuela is as much ours as it is theirs. Uh, and, and therefore, we can also share the victories. We're seeing throughout Latin America a whole change uh, 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 left wing swift. Uh, that domino theory that they were afraid of uh, in, in, the, in the 50s and the 40s is happening today. Yeah. And it's going to sweep the world. <laughs> and you look at each one of those movements as young people. I, I traveled to Venezuela and, and the people on the street, the people doing the work, the people who got Chavez out of jail the, when, when after the coup was young people who took to the streets, who, who commandeered the, the radios and TV stations, who, who took up arms. Uh, that's what's needed. And that's what's needed to rescue our communities from gentrification, from all the other uh, 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 abuses that we face. Uh, because we are internal colonies of the United States, and we have to find a way to liberate, liberate ourselves and not expect that a democratic government uh, or a government under the Democrats is going to free us uh, because they ride the same boat as the uh, Republicans. Uh, we're not going to set, uh, we're not gonna set uh, for our ballots to be counted when, they, when for years they've been uh, uh, miscounted or, or, or swept under a table or forgotten. Uh, so we're going to have to do it our way. We're going to have to do it the way that has worked throughout uh, other countries, the way that has worked to our, uh, because we have good examples of, of things that work. The Black Panther Party gave us a legacy, gave us, gave us great teachings. We have to build up on that. Uh, we have to build up on all those, all those examples that were left there, uh, that are still there. Uh, and this art exhibit of Tom Manning speaks to that because when you look at those colors, when you look at a man who's, who suffered not only incarceration, but you know, Tom Manning was picked up and dropped and his, and his hip was broken by a police officer. He was uh, tortured in every which way. Everything that you see and read about a Belgrade and Iraq have been practiced on our political prisoners and our, our regular brothers and sisters who are in, in, within these penitentiaries. As a matter of fact, those jailers over there came from here. Those are the same jailers we face in the federal system who are on the National Guard and decided to go over there and do a tour of duty. Uh, so, you know, that's what we face, and, and, and to see that throughout this, there's resistance, because there's been political prisoners from, the, from day one. From the day that, that the colonizers came here and came there, there's been political prisoners, that, because there's been people willing to resist. So, the idea of having political prisoners, the idea of having dozens of, or hundreds of political prisoners in the United States, is not new to people who struggle. They've always been there. Uh, we just got to... Uh, not unheard from them, that's not the right term, but we have to bring them to light and we have to make them heard. And Tom Manning is doing that through his paintings. He's doing, he's, he's speaking to us. He's expressing uh, 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 
uh, a process of liberation because that's what art has become to him. That's what art has become to Oscar Lopez and Carlos Alberto, two of my comrades, who have been in 27 and 26 years. And we're talking about comrades who the average amount of time that these political prisoners had there was 25 years, average. You know, a lot of you weren't even born there. A lot of the programs that you benefit in the universities uh, uh, have been a result of their struggle back in the 60s and 70s. Not a lot of things that you benefit from. I leave with that message that, that uh, you know, in terms of crisis, and, and a lot of people, I know in Puerto Rico, when we were trying to get the campaign started again after we were released in 99, it was kind of hard because people said, well, with, with Bush in power, things are going to be different. Look, we've operated. Uh, uh, this, this uh, Patriot Act, it's nothing new. It's Contelco with another name. And before Contelco was with the McCarthy, uh, 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 it's nothing new. We have to, we have to, and, we, and we've been doing it. We've operated best under pressure. We've operated best in crisis. And sometimes it's best for us to create that crisis and make it bigger uh, for us to operate. Uh, and so we, we need to uh, not fear these things. Uh, we need to confront them. We need to confront those shootings in New York. We need to confront that shooting in uh, uh, that sister down in, in, in the South. We need to confront all that and forget about it. There's a Patriot Act or whatever. We need to do our job. They're doing theirs. And theirs is to continue to colonize and oppress us, to eliminate us. We have to do ours. And that's to survive at any, at any cost. Thank you.